Welcome to Multiplication Made Easy. This video is for any of you who are still struggling remembering some of your multiplication facts. Of course, the goal is to know them with automatic speed, but this video will give you a few strategies in case you're not quite there yet to help you pick up your speed in, in multiplication. So let's get started. As we go through each of the numbers and learn some tricks and some strategies, we'll look at this multiplication chart to see just how many facts we can remember with strategies. You might have heard in second grade or third grade that zero is always the hero. Remember, any number times zero is going to be zero. So each of those facts that you know because zero is always the hero is marked off in yellow. Next, one is just the opposite. Any number multiplied by one is the other number. He never wins. So look at all these facts that are in blue to show the ones times tables. When we multiply by two, one of the simplest things to do is just count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Another strategy can you, you can use for multiplying by two is doubling a number. Seven times two is just seven plus seven. You can think of doubling a number when you multiply by two. So look at how many facts here are colored in because of the twos, all the pinks. So all of these are facts you know if you can count by twos. Next, for threes, we can sing the three song. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, and twenty-seven, thirty, and you're done. So you can use this three song to count by threes. And look at how many facts you can remember if you can count by threes. Next is the four song to the tune of She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. Oh, let's all count together, count by fours. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. Twenty-eight and thirty-two, thirty-six and last comes forty. Oh, let's all count together, count by fours. And you can see all of the numbers that are, all the facts, the additional facts that are by fours, just if you can remember that song. So notice how we already have all of these facts learned all the way up to here just because we can count our skip count. Next, you learned probably all the way in kindergarten how to skip count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So that gives you any fact that's multiplying by five, which I've marked off in here in purple. Of course, going this way too, but you know other facts to other strategies to remember those. Next, let's skip all the way down here to the nines. I like to think of nine as a magical number. Here's my, my uh, magician's hat. And there are two separate tricks that you can use for nines. First, let's do the finger trick. If you are, if you lay your hands out for nines and you want to multiply, let's say, nine times seven, you're going to count over starting on this on the left hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seventh finger. So you're going to put down that finger. Everything to the left of the finger put down is the tens place. So that would be a six in the tens place. Everything to the right of the finger that's down is the ones place. So that would be a three in the ones place. So nine times seven is 63. Let's do one more. Nine times three, that's one, two, three. The third number down is 27. Another trick you can use for the nines is to take all of the, start at zero and write zero through nine going down and then start down here at the bottom and go up zero through nine. And then you can count, let's find nine times seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine times seven is 63. Nine times nine would be 81. So either use a finger trick or the number line trick for the nines. And notice how many facts get marked off here for the nines. And then, of course, again in kindergarten, you learn to count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And I have marked off the tens facts here in 10. I hope you notice that that only leaves six facts here in the middle. Six times six, seven times seven, eight times eight, and then we have two facts that are duplicate. Here are six times seven, six times eight, and seven times eight. Those are the only six facts left to memorize. So let's do a couple um, rhymes to help us remember those. Six times six, 36 lollipop licks. Say it with me. Six times six, 36 lollipop licks. 
Here's one for six times seven. Six times seven rings are new. Shiny and bright, all 42. Say it, six times seven rings are new. Shiny and bright, all 42. Here's a super simple one for six times eight. I like this one because it rhymes and it's so easy. Six times eight is 48. Say it, six times eight is 48. Next one is a pretty yucky one, seven times seven. Seven times seven roaches on a vine, yucky and scary, all 49. Say it with me. Seven times seven roaches on a vine, yucky and scary, all 49. The next one is a counting one. Seven times eight, you can remember like this. Five, six, seven, eight. Fifty-six is seven times eight. Say it. Five, six, seven, eight. Fifty-six is seven times eight. And last but not least, the sixth one that you need to rhyme for. Eight times eight fell on the floor. Pick it up at sixty-four. Say it. Eight times eight fell on the floor. Pick it up at sixty-four. With those counting strategies and with the six new rhymes, I hope that you will see that multiplication can be made easy. Peace.